DC Comics seems to be having luck on the small screen than on the big screen. Total opposite of Marvel Comics, which is having more luck on the big screen than on the small screen. I never watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I hear from certain YouTubers, it's pretty much terrible! Now don't get me wrong, uh, I do like the Christopher Nolan Batman films, but with films like Green Lantern, which I mildly enjoyed, and Man of Steel, which I did like, but the more I keep looking at that movie, I see more and more and more flaws to the point where it gets too distracting to enjoy it at times. But with hit shows like Smallville and Arrow, you're like, they're like, why stop there? Let's keep going. Let's bring back the Flash. Let's have Barry Allen on episodes of Arrow, and let's spin off his character into a new series. But before I get into that, I want to talk about the 1990 series, which, which was probably inspired off of, uh, they got the idea from Tim Burton's Batman which featured John Wesley Shipp as Barry Allen, who is in a chemical ac accident. He's hit by lightning and, and hit with vasts of chemicals, and he gains the power of super speed. But I gotta say, back in 1990, the effects were pretty decent. Maybe if it was very hard for them to continue with such a series. I mean, they, it kind of resorted into certain silliness, at, for the most part. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I do like certain episodes, like the one with the trickster. But Mark Mark Hamill was a great trickster. Man, he was phenomenal. After after seeing him in that role, you producers who are probably producing the Batman animated series saying, "We need that voice. We need that voice. That is the Joker." Boy, he, you think you know the rest? John Wesley Ship was a pretty okay hero. I mean, the, he was pretty generic and kind of bland in spots, but I don't think he was bad. I think he did best for what he was given. I hear he's going to be in the new Flash series playing Barry Allen's father. Oh, that's, that's really weird. You know, he, nah, never mind. I'm not going to get into that part. I can say the costume was was pretty good. I mean, but you gotta take a look at the new costume. I mean, the new costume looks updated and better. I mean, it doesn't look too. It tries not to look too ridiculous. I mean, not like not that John Wesley Ship's outfit looked ridiculous, but I think the one in 2014 looks. It looks like it has a better update to it. And I saw the trailer for the new. Flash series, and it's, it's, I gotta say, it looks promising. Could it be the hit that Smallville and Arrow are? Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Why don't we? I gotta say, for a five minute long trailer, whew, it really told you a lot. Now, you probably know at the end of Arrow's last season, which I did catch a glimpse, young Barry Allen is struck by lightning and hit with vast of chemicals and. It probably leaves you open what's going to come next for him. I believe Arrow does make a brief appearance in in that episode to tell him the hero he was meant to be. Now you probably know this new Flash is not 35 to 40 years old. This this is played this, this, he's played by Grant Gustin. He looks like he could be Andrew Garfield's kid brother. Maybe that's what they wanted for this role. I mean, it worked for Spider-Man. Let's have it work for The Flash. <laughs> I mean, the trailer is about uh, Barry Allen, trying, who witnesses his mom's death at the at, at incredible speed. And I think it hints that it's Professor Zoom, you know, Flash's arch nemesis, the evil version of him, like his General Zod sort of thing. I don't know. And this time he hit, he has a team backing him up as the Flash, and they make the suit for him, and uh, so forth. They get introduced to Metahumans, this evil villain who can control the weather. That looks that looks promising, I gotta say. And uh, what else? 
I think it could sell. I mean, I mean, like Smallville was a hit. I mean, Smallville really wasn't really a, about Superman. Well, it was, but it kind of was, and it was about the lead up to become that character. This, nope, they just jump right into the fact that he's just going to become the Flash immediately. They don't wait a few years. Unlike TV's other new series, Gotham, which it showcases a young Jim Gordon and showcases all the other characters from Batman. And the other show, Constantine. Hmm. But will The Flash be a hit? I believe it will. Let's just keep our fingers crossed and let's, let's see if it's going to soar high. I wonder if they're going to bring back Captain Cold or the Trickster. Man, Mark Hamill. He's going to be hard to top. Hmm. Alright, catch you later.